Hello everybody, so if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I Ecotech swapped a Miata. Uh, I then proceeded to put nitrous on it. So the problem that I'm currently faced with is I want some beefy tires, such as those ones right there. Uh, the problem is, uh, you know, you get some beefy tires, you want to get some aggressive offset. Well, the Miata stock fenders and quarter panels, they don't really allow you to do such a thing. I mean, you can get some meat under there, but I mean, not that much. I plan on giving the Miata some 205 series tires wrapped around a set of 15 by eight zero offset rims. And currently, if I were to do that, uh, the suspension's kind of high, but I plan on lowering it eventually. Uh, if I were to do that, uh, the wheels would cut into the quarter panel, or rather the quarter panels would cut into the wheels and then your tires would last a total of four miles. So of course, because I like to do everything to the extremes, like instead of just rebuilding my engine, engine swap it with a completely different platform. We're gonna put a rocket bunny kit onto the Ecotech Miata today. And I'm not talking about some cheap eBay replica. This is the OG Pandem rocket bunny kit. This thing was not cheap. Uh, normally they come with a front lip and a duckbill spoiler. Uh, but I actually purchased the whole thing as a kit and sold those separately and made some of my money back. These things were very expensive and they're just pieces of fiberglass. Uh, it's kind of like a Corvette. So as you can see, this thing is going to add considerable thickness to the wheel wells on the Miata. So the way that these work is you literally just bolt them here. Like so, kinda. There's some more prep involved and you cut away the inside of the fender and make it so that you can run thicker tires because this lip is no longer there to chew into your tires. All right, so as you can see, currently if you try to offer it up to the car, it doesn't quite work. This makes contact here. This needs to go all the way to the edge of the fender to the door and you can see that just isn't working because of right here. So we gotta start off by cutting off a massive section of the fender on uh, the inside over here. So let's get started. All right, so I offered up the front over fender for it and this is about where it starts making interference at. So I'm gonna start off by hacking off all of that material, uh, which is a lot. And then we'll see if we can get it to sit flush down there. All right, so here is my atrocious cutting job. Uh, this fender was junk to begin with. Somebody tried rolling it and they completely ruined it. So I don't feel bad about this. Fenders for these cars aren't very expensive. Um, so next up, you're going to want to remove, there's a bolt down here, down here, right about there. You're gonna wanna remove that because that's part of the way that the Rocket Bunny over fender bolts in. All right, so here's what the first over fender looks like on. You can see down here where we had to cut it just to get this on, and now you can see all this leftover stuff. So what we're going to have to do now is take a marker and mark all up inside here uh, where we need to cut. Uh, and then that way uh, it'll have clearance for any size tire we need within reason. You can see I started down here on the bolt that's that holds the fender on from the factory. Once I got that on, I just took self tappers and then I started and went around and got the fitment right. I uh, used a bunch of already Rocket Bunny Miatas as reference for this, um, just to see exactly where everything's supposed to line up with. And then, so they're just self tappered in right now. Uh, I'm later gonna put riv nuts and uh, some nice security stainless hardware in there. But for now, this is just for getting the fitment right. All right, so you can see just how much material we're gonna have to remove here. I have the over fender off. You can see the holes uh, that secure it on. And I'm gonna be removing a lot of material. All right, so as you can see, it's starting, starting to get dark out a little bit, but look how much material I removed. Holy smokes. I took out the fender liner too. Dude, we could put some big tires in there. 
Look, let me just compare it to the other side. Look, it's that looks decent. And then, oh my god. All right, so it's the next day, and you can see we have this over fender on. Uh, it's all cut out, and you can see this is the new wheel that's going to be on it. It's a 205 series uh, tire wrapped around a 15 by 8 zero offset uh, wheel. Looks pretty good on there. Uh, you can see the fitment on the side. It's pretty good. It could poke out a little bit more, but it needs to be a lot lower. You can see we probably have about, I don't know, six inches of uh, room up in there. So either coilovers or bags will be going on this thing soon. And then you can see on the other side, this is what it looks like with a factory wheel on it. Uh, this is the factory 14 inch Daisy. Uh, it has 185 60s on it. Um, and you can see just how much the over fender, uh, you can just see how much width this adds to the car. And then if you look at it from the front, you can see just how insanely wide it is now compared to how it was before. Now I need to start on the back ones. Now the back ones are gonna be a little bit different. Um, from what I have seen, it looks like we're gonna cut so much up here that it's gonna start to interfere with not only the quarter panel, uh, but there's some sheet metal welded to the back of this. Uh, and then we're gonna, we might have to eventually weld in a strip in there to seal it up. The back ones, they have this in the back of them and then that one, this like thing in the front of them, uh, that is gonna be how you line it up or rather how you determine which side it goes on. You can also see uh, it's a lot wider in the back of them than it is in the front of them. It kind of narrows out um, because it's pretty clear how the front ones go on because uh, they have the little like thing that goes on the bottom that lines up with the fenders. Uh, but the back ones are a little more not clear as to where they go. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the same as we did for the first one. Offer it up, kind of see where it fits uh, using already Rocket Bunny Miatas as reference. And then just run self tappers, see where all the holes go, and then draw a line and then cut. Alrighty, so here's what the back one looks like on. You can see it's all held on with the self tappers. Now we got to go up there, mark uh, with the marker where we're going to cut and then cut it up so none of this lip is in there and then we could get our wide tires on. All right, so as you can see, there's a secondary layer behind the first layer of the quarter panel on the outside. So as you can see, what I did is I just cut through both layers of it and then peeled these back. Uh, these were just sitting like that and then I cut lines so I can peel them back. And then these lines here, I'm gonna connect to those, cut all the way up here to uh, reduce the inside of the fender. And then we're gonna eventually have to weld in a new piece so dirt and other stuff doesn't get up there and cause the, engine, or the car to rust out from the inside. All right, so you can see with it all cut out now, uh, this little gap here, we're gonna have to weld something in there once it's all said and done. All right, so here is the completed Rocket Bunny kit on the Miata. All four wheels are on and it is wide. I took it for a little test drive. Uh, everything feels good, especially with the aggressive offset. It looks pretty good. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, it wasn't too difficult of an install. Some parts were a little bit finicky and getting everything to line up perfect, but overall it came out pretty good. Uh, currently, I just have the self tappers in it, uh, just the hex heads, and uh, <clears throat> I want to get some rib nuts and some nice security hardware and put those in. Um, but this is going to be it for today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, look forward to seeing this thing wrapped because I think it'll look really good uh, so it's not the red on black. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.